Welcome back to uh, Afterlife. It's episode 17. Uh, the sun is going to set pretty dang soon. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we had ventured off into a new town. Came back very, very full. And since we were full, we had to come back. So when we came back, it was not yet late evening. We didn't get back into the night. We got back with a little bit of time remaining in the day. And so we're going to try to make use of that by uh, getting to this quick mining site, getting a little bit of mining done before the sun sets. And inevitably, of course, it's going to set and I might come under attack, but uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, survive that. Yeah, connects right through there. So oof, no, that's that's too far away, too far away. By the way, mining up to uh, level six. We're still at that. Oh, that's going to make things trickier. Can't see. And really can't see very well in either direction here either. Some mushrooms up here. Not that uh, mushrooms are what I'm short of. And it looks like we've got... Oh. Crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a bit... It's a little bit. Okay, I'm less worried about that. I thought it was a bear dead for a second. Jeez. He did knock me silly a bit, already leaving me a bit wounded here uh, before we actually get into the night, but we'll collect the meat, we'll collect that bag, and then we'll get back and mine whatever we can. Fortitude has grown. One repair kit. Ah, weapons bag. You know, we've already been attacked. I think we're probably going to be okay from further attack. And that's it. That that's uh, That is what's down here. Okay, still not nighttime, so we will continue to mine. Okay, sun. It's getting close, but it has not set yet. Uh, I do think, though, it's important we start kind of looking around and making sure that we've got a space that's uh, at least somewhat clear <clears throat> and start to crouch all right let, let's not get ourselves killed tonight that sun's about to set so we're gonna head back uh we got a good little haul i think i brought in about 75 oh there you go it's nighttime and there is mushrooms was kind of a plan B. Let's grab some mushrooms on the way. Well, there you go. We got some mushrooms. A couple anyway. Another uh, mushroom harvest ready to be gathered up. We're going to have a lot of mushrooms for uh, cooking purposes. I haven't used them yet. Let me see uh, what recipe they go into. We might have it unlocked by now, but I think the uh, stews upcoming are going to be kind of the big grab on that. Uh, this time around, though, I don't think we're going to be planting quite as much as we are... Uh, harvesting seed-wise as we keep doubling and <laughs> you can see the space we're occupying now is rather a lot. Decided it was time to uh, add a third campfire. We already had most everything you need for it other than the frying pan and beaker. We don't have any beakers at this point. We do have, let's see, we have a frying pan in both of those. So it's the frying pan that is absent uh, compared to the other two. But yeah, third campfire will help us continually get water on the go a little bit more quickly and not hold up all of the processes that we are uh, used to needing to complete. My biggest short-term concern is that the scrap spear we're using, it's running out of quality. It's down to 732. We've only looted the one scrap spear so far, and I'm not in a position to craft a scrap spear. To help alleviate that issue, I'm currently on level 5 for sharp sticks. It takes 10 levels to make a, a scrap spear. So I've made seven books, enough to get to the ability to uh, make it ourselves, and also add a couple beyond that to increase the quality. So now we can make the scrap spear. Now we don't have to worry about the, the fact that this one is about to run out. I'm curious to see what, what level we can make for the time being with it. Uh, less of a level than uh, the one we have remaining. But 
we've got it covered now. Leather, pitch, scrap metal, no problem. We can continue to use the uh, scrap spear, and hopefully another book or two will uh, make that quality high enough to only need to do so once. But that sun is very much rising, so we're going to head back out first and foremost to get water. Almost always our uh, initial morning task, or sometimes our evening task. Six zombies in the area, but I'm not too worried about them. The infection's starting to pick up again. It's uh, starting to blur that vision. Nine more jars. Uh, we'll save three of those. First couple guys coming out of the base. Now we have kind of a clear path also to see that, is, that was at the base and where it's at now. Beautiful morning. I have done something to try to address our situation regarding oh, uh, our situation regarding the infection. We had it under control. We've only died the once from it. We kept it under control this time. Spear. Get that thing repaired. Okay, we're down to 580 on the quality. It's not ready now, but we've got two Cyphia syrups uh, that are actually going to be done here in just a couple minutes, but it's not urgent. Uh, our vision's only just starting to get blurred, so we're going to head back out uh, and get on with our day. I have not actually formulated a plan for what I want to do today. Uh, mining feels like something I need to do short term. I mean, we definitely need to find the coal stone. I think I found I mean, we do have some charcoal that will handle some of what we need. Okay, I have 20 coal. That's that's all we've come up with. That That's really only a few minutes. So really what I should be doing this morning is mining coal. But so far, I know what the copper looks like. Uh, there's another over there. That should be iron, I believe. That black over there, that should be cold. Well, now that we've killed a little additional time, I'm going to take that golden rod and that Cyphia syrup. And uh, we'll take that now. Infection on the rise, not stalled, but this should knock it down by 15%. Clear up our vision. And I just made the silly realization that marking something on my map doesn't help me without a compass. So we're going to have to kind of do a little bit of guesswork. Some navigation out here on our own. This should already be getting me pretty close to where it is. I'd like to see if there's an egg here, and then we'll check that map. Oh, almost right on my spot. Yeah, right there. And right there. And right there. One huge coal. The coal is a lot easier to break down. It's only 400. Uh, you get 50 per hit. Mining's already up to level 8. I'm not sure you're more than 50 per hit now. Uh, and you get a good amount out. So it's not going to take long to, to get the coal we need. And we definitely have a long term coal mine here. Uh, we are going to probably want to cut some of the trees down around here to make it more noticeable in the future. Uh, make it an easy, you know, find for us. Uh, I'll probably also want to dig out some of the clay in this area. Pickaxe is up to level 6 now. We've already got that mining up to level 8. We're making some real good prog progress on all of that. Gathering's up to level 12. Logging up to level 7. Basic skills, basic skills that are still just 
below day day one levels this far in. It's not like we've been idle. Gathering level 13, definitely one of those things we've been targeting. That's far from job done, but it's job begun. And definitely going to set us up uh, for some long-term success with a lot of coal right there. Uh, we'll use this as kind of our tree and bee farm, knowing that the coal is there and the coal is going to be you know, regular use item. Back at base unloaded and another Cyphia syrup is done, that second one that we were working on. So we're going to knock that infection down by another 15% and get it to the lowest state it's been. It's above 50 right now, but not far above it, maybe 55. So that's going to knock us down to maybe 40%, uh, which is you know fantastic. I'm going to have a little meal here. We're kind of hungry, uh, but we are also sick to the stomach. This should help with that though. Golden Ron tea. Actually, I haven't had one of them for a little bit. I think it's too late in the day to venture back down to the town we were in uh, on that past day, so we're gonna have to uh, bum around town a little bit. We've still got this western edge with a lot of buildings that have probably reset their loot by now. Uh, same with this edge, and we still haven't been to this edge of town, so there. There's still a few options, plus the uh, northern edge. So we'll make our way around uh, with the time that remains. Yeah, it's, it's just past high noon. Oh, that's a huge horde. But that also means a fantastic opportunity to uh, gather some loot bags. I haven't seen a spider in a while. Hard to kind of just aim for the random crowd and hope to hit somebody and draw them to us. Venturing over there is a good way to wind up dead. Ooh, they've kind of been cutting across towards towards the base here. This is dangerous, but most of them are pretty easy. If I can kind of draw them off, this is already the back of the group. If I can draw them off one or two at a time. Here's to hoping for some loot bags and just some experience along the way. Keep moving. I see a loot bag already. Getting close to that though is uh, definitely close enough to draw some of them in probably. Already good loot. If this near group are all weak zombies, let's just draw them all in. Oh, I can hit more than one now. If they line up right for me. No loot bags so far, but that's already thinned the herd out a little bit. Construction zombie is about the toughest one besides the spider that we took out first. And two headshots has already brought him down. Handled just about the rest of them, or at least these four pretty easily. enough so far. That that does not feel like the whole group. I didn't see any of them continue on, but 
many of them must have because uh, that horde was much larger than what I just fought off. I just fought off, I don't know, maybe a dozen. There was twice that easily. Let's pick up that little bit of loot. What do we have? A couple bow hunters. I'm gonna read them. I'm gonna read them. Uh, bronze arrowheads. Steel ingots. Those are heavy. Okay, definitely past noon now, but still probably only about two o'clock. I know we just recently spent time at a trader wrecked, but uh, we're gonna venture in here again. Uh, only some of the loot would have reset. Ooh, they blew up that truck. The zombies have certainly reset, so that's normally a good sign. And yeah, the forge. Searchable. Forge ahead. And an iron anvil. Oh, that's big. Iron anvil takes a long time to get. Charcoal kiln uh, is also now unlocked. That's a heavy anvil. Ah, loot bag. Nice. The loot bag we didn't get from the horde. The random loot bag that was there, and then the loot bag we get immediately after. A couple tech planets. I'm gonna scrap those. We need those fragments. And I've really cleaned this place out, so... Uh, these couple of boxes are probably searchable again, yes. Another forge ahead. You're not wrecked. So heading on to our next location. Yeah, a couple duct tape. Super corn. Ah, uh, you've got to read that one. Okay, there's so much for uh, zombies here. Something's gonna fall from the roof, right? There we are. Coffee, more coffee. And that looks like that's all we're going to get from here today. That is, uh, I think what was up here was a bag that's probably gone. It is not much in the coffee shop, but that's okay. I don't know if I want to go in the Motel 7 again. out in there, but there was main loot somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where in the Motel 7 or is there even main loot. Let's check that off. There should only be a couple zombies I'm going to have to go through in here. Coffee maker. More coffee. Perk point. Ceiling, something along those lines. The rooms were pretty barren in here anyway, so we'll. <laughs> Not really. There, oh! Maybe it is. A couple boxes right here. Guys like this now. And I had a few kind of near misses with that. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Not much doing from all of that, but that's okay. Better than nothing. We we are relooting places that we've already been through. Already starting to get a little bit overloaded, so let's uh something into the bike. Zombie pig, let's try to avoid him here. 
don't think I've been in here yet, so this would be a new place. And while it's into the late afternoon, we're okay. Okay, zombie pig is holding. Bobcat looks like a locked door. It is a locked door. Okay, alternative entrance somewhere. Zombie was after the deer decided he wants to go after the yeah. instead. Now. Scavenging up to 24. That's lock two, huh? Where's your regular entrance? Through the side here? Probably. Zombie pig still down there, but he's kind of locked in over by the motel. Ah, uh, do I need these items? Scrap, yes. Drop. I already have a few batteries. Eventually I'll need more, but batteries are so easy to get. Scratch down a few cars and you've got yourself a bunch of batteries. Locked door, but we can get in, and this is definitely the place to be. This is our entrance in. There you go. Oh, nice. A mic. And a shiraz. Take that, I guess. As soon as we here. There we go, and then fix the spear inside. Oh, the alcohol level. Oh, fun. Our world's getting a little bit blurry. Do I have tier fours? Ah, shoot. I don't think I do. We got two tier fours right here. But it's 300 kilograms, so you gotta cheese it back to the base, which is not that far away. But we've found a couple tier fours. And an ATM. And a bartender. Please, sir, may I have a dog? Telling me I'm drunk? And that I can't have any more? Well that. Mega crush. A couple of beers. A functioning cash register with apparently the breakdown of the world happened early in the day. At least here. Because there was not much cash in the register. Or somebody already snagged it. I thought the Shiraz was on the low side, but it not. Okay, got a rough access there. Still sprinkling, I think, outside, so let's uh, check the storeroom first. Another, we need to come back for the uh, roof items, and therefore, I think we're gonna possibly be coming back also for a pool table or two. Sun's getting closer to setting, has not set yet though. Uh, we're gonna get back, we're gonna check if we need those pool tables for our decor boost. Whether we need one, whether we need both. That is very much close enough to home to uh, do the cheese. But it may be a cheese in the morning kind of thing. As it's getting a little bit close. There's time, but... 
I suppose we could cheese with the bike and just come back on foot uh, if we run out of time for the night. Definitely coming back with a lot of uh, various items. Definitely too close to sunset to go back out, but let's go ahead and see uh, where we're at on that decor buff. Blah, 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 blah. Zero of two for tier four. We very much want to cheese the two pool tables back to the base. 100%. And they will provide a healthy bonus. We're already at 1.2. It's going to give us a maximum for tier four, which I think would damn near match what we have for the first three tiers. Did pick up a perk point. Because we could get that next Slayer upgrade, increase that vitality even more with each kill. We'll take that. So we've really, really lucked out with that Iron Anvil because uh, we could bypass the Bronze Bucket entirely, which requires a Bronze Anvil. And the Bronze Anvil is definitely my next target item uh, to upgrade the Forge. But that requires a lot of Copper and Tin. And we are able to smelt that now. We are making some progress with it. We just uh, did our first bit of scrap metal. We're also doing the uh, the spare bike frame that we looted. Uh, but we're going to put our calcopyrite in there. And that should be able to smelt down. The, the coal is getting us hot enough as it's uh, uh, heat level 3. And so, yes, we are making gains with all of that. Uh, that's going to add up. That's going to add up pretty quick. I mean, we've already got 1.9 kilograms of copper. Uh, we've already got 1.6 kilograms of iron, mostly from the uh, the bike chassis. But with that accumulating a little, little more quickly now, yeah, that bronze anvil is definitely a possibility. It's still going to take some time. Anyway, though, with that iron anvil that we've landed, seven wrought iron ingots will score us a bucket. 21 will score us three buckets. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, we have a good count right now. One thing, the wooden buckets only held five. These metal buckets are gonna hold 15 for water, so they go a lot further. Right now, a water takes 19 minutes, 12 seconds to make. You upgrade that bucket, 14 minutes, 24 seconds. We're shaving five minutes off the time it takes to make water with that iron bucket. So I had a pretty long-term uh, water project ongoing on this one campfire. Uh, I finished one of them, paused it, swapped that water out, canceled it, put the new bucket in, and shaved off half an hour from the project. Uh, so that's, that's how well we're, we're doing with that new project. So. Uh, with those new buckets. Uh, we've got them in all three campfires now, so they're all uh, equally more efficient than before. I mean, we're, we're essentially taking a quarter of the time away uh, on those projects, and the forge is in better shape. <laughs> uh, yeah, things are looking good. We're going to be heading into a horde night here soon, though. It's almost done, but that's going to be our next episode. That's going to do it for this one. I'm the Cathalon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.